Okay, we're gonna go ahead and prime factor 120. So we're gonna be looking for, obviously, the prime factor. So we need to know uh, what this means and how to do it because factoring is extremely important in mathematics, especially in algebra. And uh, before we can get into how to factor things in algebra, we need, to, we need to know how to deal with numbers. So we're gonna use this nice example 120 to just kind of review, or maybe you're learning for the first time, how to construct a prime factoring tree. And then we can write this uh, number, 120, as a product of its prime factor. So we're gonna get into all of this in just one second, but uh, first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over uh, several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, uh, uh, you can find the link to my math help program in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. I also do a lot in the area of test uh, preparation. So if you're uh, studying for a test, uh, for example, like the GED, SAT, ACT, Accuplacer, Alex, uh, CLEP exam, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam, nursing entrance exam. I have uh, test prep courses for all those and many, many other tests. So just go to my site uh, if you are studying for a particular exam. If I do not have your exam, drop me a line in the contact form and I'll help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with independent learners uh, like homeschoolers. I've been working with homeschoolers for uh, 15 plus years. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning system. And then obviously I help those of you that are struggling in your current math courses. But one thing you have to be doing for yourself is be taking great math notes over decades of teaching mathematics. It's crystal clear to me that those students who take great notes, okay, really put the work and effort in to take fantastic notes, almost always do very well in math. And the reverse is true. Those students who uh, really, you know, think that they can kind of get away <laughs> uh, with no note taking as I did way back in the good old days. You know, uh, no one's perfect, but you've got to improve in your note taking. But in the meantime, you still need something to study from as you're improving in your note taking. This is critical for your math success. So I offer detailed comprehensive math notes. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video, but those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. All right, so let's get into this problem. We want to go ahead and prime factor 120. Now, of course, if you think you know how to do this problem, I would suggest you go ahead and pause the video and do it. But let's uh, take a simpler problem here. Let's take the uh, number 20 and let's factor it. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, factors are things that uh, they are multiples. Basically, I could take 20 and I could say, oh, 20 is the same thing as 2 times 10. Well, 2 and 10 are factors of 20. Now, 2 is a prime factor, okay, because I can no longer uh, uh, continue to factor this number. In other words, the only thing I, that 2 is equal to is 2 times 1. So like a number like 7 is a prime number because you can only factor it as the number itself in 1. That means it's prime. However, 10 is not a prime factor because I can continue to factor. So 10 is the same thing as 2 times 5. And now if I look here, let's just go ahead and erase all this. 2 and 5 are themselves prime factors or, or prime, right? So these are this is a prime number and this is a prime number. And if I look at all my prime factors and multiply them together, 2 times 2 times 5, that is in fact 20. So this is the prime factorization of 20. And this little thing right here is called a factor tree. Okay, now 2 times 2, I could also write that as 2 squared times 5 is equal to 20. And that's basically what we're going to be doing uh, in this problem. So if you want to tackle 120 and go ahead and see if you can do that problem, I would suggest go ahead and pause the video and do, uh, go ahead and uh, do it. Now, one thing I want to um, state right off the bat is that uh, you can have different factor trees. For example, 20 I factored as 2 and 10, and I got all the way down to here. But we could also have uh, done this. We could have 20 as 4 times 5, and then continue down 2 times 2 times 5. And here, that's prime, prime, and prime. So 
uh, people's factors tree, factor trees can look different, but the bottom line is the prime factorizations will be the same. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and check out 120 and see how we're going to uh, prime factor it. So uh, again, it's uh, good to always know the divisibility rules, but with anything that ends in zero, you should be thinking, oh, okay, 10 goes into that number. So we have 12 uh, times 10, or at least a number like this. So you know it's pretty obvious that 12 times 10 is 120. So we can immediately break up 120 into two factors that are very manageable. Okay, so it's always smart to kind of do that. You don't want to go like say two times 60. You could have done that, but then you kind of have to continue to break down 60, etc. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on. So let's take this factor right here. I have 12 and I have 12 times three. Now, once you reach a prime factor, I like to circle them. Okay, so 12, or is, 12 is the same thing as four times three. So let's circle that, that is prime. Four is not prime, so I can continue to factor four as two times two. So that, uh, these factors here are prime. Three is prime, we'll bring it down here so everything is all like in one list. Now let's go over here with this 10. So 10 is the same thing as two times five. These are in fact prime, okay? So I can't factor them anymore uh, uh, with these particular numbers, okay? The prime factors as we discussed. So we'll bring everything down here so we can kind of see it all in one row. So two, two times two times three times this two times that five is 120. So these are the prime factors of 120 and the process is called factorization and this thing right here is called a factor tree. Okay, just so we can kind of review basic nomenclature and terminology. It's very important in math. Now, one additional thing is we have a lot of twos and we have a three and five, but we can write this a little bit uh, in a nicer way because we have two, another two here, another two there. If we put all those twos together, that's two times two times two. I can write that as two cubed. So really, I'd like to be able to write this as two cubed times three, okay, times five. This is really kind of the nicest way to write this prime factorization of 120. Okay, so if you got this problem right, then I must give you a happy face and an A plus and a 100%. And depending uh, on where you're at in your education, this might be new to you. So let's throw in a couple of bonus stars as well. But remember, uh, this concept of factoring, okay, is extremely important, not just in arithmetic, okay, uh, arithmetic like as we're doing right here, but uh, also in algebra and even more advanced mathematics. You've got to know how to factor. It's one of the most critical math skills that uh, um, really, honestly, I would say as a math teacher, um, a lot of students, okay, uh, both arithmetic and algebra and even more advanced mathematics students struggle with uh, for uh, what they're doing, okay, they're having difficulty for that particular topic because their factoring skills are weak, okay, you got to get strong in factoring and a good way to do that is just to review the basics and this is a good place to start, prime factorization of numbers. And one other uh, uh, kind of uh, comment here. Now to break this number up, if you didn't have a calculator, and let's say I had a number like this, okay, and you're gonna start breaking it down, it's good to know uh, the divisibility rules, okay? So if you don't have a calculator, you need to know the divisibility rules that can kind of help you uh, figure things out, whether a number is divisible by two, three, six, et cetera. Those come in handy as well. And uh, by the way, too, let me just mention, that I have additional uh, videos. I know I have videos on the uh, divisibility rules in my pre-algebra playlist. So check those out if you're interested and want to continue to kind of expand your knowledge about numbers and factoring. All right, but if this video in some small way helped you out, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I have a lot of videos organized from basic to advanced mathematics on my playlist. So if you want to continue to learn uh, geometry, algebra with me, uh, my channel is a great place to start. Of course, my best math help will be in my math help program. So uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and 
Have a great day.